Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Well, welcome back to Giga Texas on the last Friday of August, the 26th of August, 2022 to be exact. It's hard to believe so much of the year has passed by and yet so much more to be done here at the site. As you'll see in the video, there's still quite a bit to see, a lot of developments all over the place, and I'll go through that with narration in just a bit. But for the introduction, there's two things that I want to talk about. First, we start off on the night flight on the western side of General Assembly, specifically on that southwestern corner area, where inside they are using the steel that we see here in the photo on the south end in that storage and staging area that we've been speculating for quite some time. In my previous video, I told you that I've been, had some confirmation that they're using this inside this area of the General Assembly. And as you can see by these photos looking through the windows, you can see this area that a lot of steel work has been done and it opens up from the second floor down to the first floor. And it's pretty contiguous for most of the length of the building that I show you. So this is where General Assembly Lines 2 and 3 are being set up. And this is for future products, uh, partly maybe the Cybertruck, but also some other product, products as well that's coming up later this year and into 2023. So as you can see by these photos, a lot of progress inside. Also the cargo bays that are on the west side that they've cut in with saw cutting continue to develop as well, as you can see by these images that I've been showing you. The second thing is, this is pure speculation on my part. This is based only on observations that I've made over the last couple of weeks and then specifically today. And that is on the east side in that material storage area where we've been seeing a lot of the dirt being brought in, some from the south, some from the north, and they've been building up that whole grade location. And I've been speculating that it may be part of the warehouse and wheels expansion and possibly expansion for more materials or maybe for the trailers or just a reconfiguration of that area. However, from what I saw today, and as you can see by this image here with the outline, this is again my speculation, but it's looking almost like another foundation is starting to materialize. And it's almost starting to have a familiar diamond shape as well. Again, this is purely speculation on my part. This may be incorrect. We'll have to continue to monitor this as time develops, but I thought you might find this interesting. Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the Friday and also the weekend coming up. And again, I really do appreciate all your support and for watching these videos. Thank you very much and have a great weekend. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas. Well, as you can see, it's a great morning for flying around Giga Texas, so I thought I would do an early morning flight. And let's take a look at some of the progress on the General Assembly structure, specifically what's going on inside and behind this area with all of the new cargo loading bays. This ramp is where Model Ys are exiting the factory, at least partially, and moving down to the south side. And let's get a little bit closer and show you the progress inside. As you can see, there's a large open area that connects the second and ground floor. And this is where quite a bit of the steel work is taking place. And I'm gonna position the drone around here just uh, really quickly to give you an idea of how the cargo bays themselves are progressing this morning. But the main focus that I wanna show you is inside the building. Nevertheless, you can see quite a bit of work preparing these new cargo bays for the uh, loading mechanisms that will be installed and they're coming along pretty quickly. But as we look inside, again, you can see this large open area that connects the ground and the second floor. You can see quite a bit of the steel work, kind of as a mezzanine, if you will, between the two floors. And as mentioned, the steel that's being stored on the south 
material location just south of the pond is where all of this is coming and where it's been installed. And it may be a little bit difficult to kind of see just the, the scale, but this is a very large area of General Assembly, both on the second and ground floor. And this is where General Assembly lines two and three, the expansion that we've heard about a few months ago is actually taking place. And as we continue to fly to the south, you can just get a pretty good idea of the large scale. Uh, we're passing one of the interior staircases. And as soon as we exit here, we'll be able to see more of the work that is uh, ongoing. You can see some of these white and red platforms. This is part of the production uh, process that will be installed, kind of platforms and uh, where machinery will be installed. And again, this is a pretty good view looking across this area with all of the steel. And you can see through some of the far wall into the stamping extension, which is also having a lot of steel work going on at the same time. Again, more of these red and uh, white uh, racking systems. And uh, we're going to pass through the uh, southwest corner, go around the building, and you can kind of get an idea of how this is appearing now. Uh, the open area uh, with all of the steel continues all the way to the south part of the building, and you'll see that in just a second. And you'll see there's a very large open area uh, that is either not completed or will just form a section of where some of the vehicles will finish up on the production and then potentially uh, come out the south end. But this is what I'm talking about. You can see this large uh, open area that connects the ground floor and the second floor. You can see some of the mezzanine uh, structure. You can see some of the materials on the ground level, some of the man lifts. And you can also see there's this uh, section that's uh, uh, concreted in right by the windows that uh, may be just a second floor. Uh, could be maybe for offices at some point in the future. But uh, this view here, looking through the, uh, the glass into that mezzanine uh, area, I'll bring the drone down just a little bit more. You can see how this all appears. And here's that open uh, location that connects to some of the doors on the south end and this gives you a good idea of some of the work on the ground floor as well. So anyway, uh, as I've been mentioning, the steel on the south end is going somewhere and quite a bit of it is going into this portion of General Assembly and uh, producing the second and third its General Assembly lines. I'm positioning the drone back for an overall view of this parking and transport location and you can see the activity here. You can see cars at the superchargers, quite a bit more in the parking location with many different colors now, not just white. And many of the cars, in this case uh, about 120 or so, preparing for pickup with the transports and you can see that that is actively going on here as well. There were multiple transports during my time flying here at Giga Texas this morning. So the production rate and the transportation rate continues to increase. So I'm gonna to try to position the drone here to give you a view inside the stamping extension structure. Again, this is a very difficult location to see inside, but what you can see here is a lot of work on the ground level, uh, specifically on the second door, which we will get a view of here shortly and uh, quite a bit of uh, tall open area and this section of the building a lot of the ground still needs work and then slab work uh, just a very large open area that uh, is going to be seeing construction for quite some time as you look through this door you can see this immense pit and this may be a isolation type foundation similar to what we see with the stamping machines or for some other very large machines uh, once those uh, foundations are completed. Uh, but anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this look inside the stamping extension as well, uh, in addition to the work that we're seeing at General Assembly. 
So I'm going to pan the drone around just so you can view the transportation lot and some of the activity with picking up the vehicles today. And you can just see how they are all arranged. There's a large number on the south end as well uh, and a couple of lines. So the number of Model Ys just uh, definitely is increasing as for the production as we've discussed. Now this is that south steel material location that we were talking about. A lot of this steel has been and continues to being used in that general assembly interior location that I uh, just toured and it's continuing to build out that uh, I guess we call it a mezzanine between the first or the ground floor and the second floor. So I hope that all of this, the views inside and the discussion here with the steel was helpful for you and gives you an idea of what is actually going on at this south end and inside uh, large sections of Giga Texas, specifically on the south end. So this maneuver to the southeast, I'll bring us down again just to uh, give an update on how the horizontal drilling operations are going on. You can see crews are actively working on the drill. The drill is in operation, drilling another bore for a second pipe that will be pulled through here. The first one is uh, approximately underneath that white truck. Currently, it's just temporarily covered over until further work will begin. Also notice the number of trailers here on the left-hand side. They just continue to grow in this material yard location. And I will also give you an idea of the work going on on the east side of the stamping machine structure that's on the left and coming in to view the body and white structure. Um, the loading apron that they've been working on here looks like the plumbing work is definitely completed. They're uh, completing some of the rebar work near the eight cargo doors that were cut into the walls and now are under configuration. And it looks like we may start seeing rebar now uh, in addition to uh, or in preparation for the concrete to be poured here. So again, more progress. As I pull the drone back, you can see this uh, yard with more of the trucks. And I want to show you the resumed work on the dirt excavation and loading up on the various trucks, the center load or center dump trucks and regular trucks. And they're picking up all of this dirt and moving it over to that uh, east material storage location where we'll, we'll discuss in a little bit, but uh, um, it seems like some significant changes are happening over there. So let's uh, fly the drone uh, across the trees over to the east side so we can get a better view of what all is going on. And as you can see, the graded area getting all of the dirt just continues to expand, but it's also starting to take a shape on the south portion that you can uh, see right at the middle of the screen. You can see more uh, dirt work being done here on the left hand, and this looks uh, like where maybe some materials and trailers may be located. But I want to reposition the drone here just to show you something that I've noticed, and we talked a little bit about the intro. But take a look at how this area is shaping up with all of the work. This is speculation on my part, but I'm putting this uh, dotted yellow line with the arrow to give you an idea of what may be a new foundation. Now this is oriented due north-south, just like the main factory. And uh, despite there's some areas that are still lower in grade, they could be getting ready to move all this material elsewhere and then continuing to fill this location up to maybe make a new foundation. So again, this is my speculation. It may be incorrect. Uh, maybe you have your own thoughts, but I will reposition the drone so you can see this location from the other direction. Also note the grade work is higher in the new area than it is in the material storage yard by a significant amount. So that kind of hints that maybe they're not connected. But I will continue to monitor this and uh, who knows, maybe we're seeing another phase in construction beginning and hopefully we'll be able to see that develop over time. Again, if you have your own thoughts and comments, please put them in the comments section. I would love to hear what your thoughts are. 
So now let's position ourselves over to the battery cathode plant where a lot of activity and detail is going on. And we'll start in the south section of the building, specifically on the ground floor where this large section of ground slab is continuing to be prepared. A lot of rebar is being placed. The yellow plastic is a moisture barrier that will underlie the actual concrete itself. And you can kind of see how this is this section of the building is uh, materializing and uh, how the uh, groundwork is nearing the point where we might see some concrete. The white painted columns again is a fire retardant paint and it's very similar that we saw over in the main factory at the battery cell and paint shop uh, earlier on in that construction. As I maneuver the drone more towards the north you can see that mezzanine on the third floor continuing to take shape. More of the stairs have been installed more work on the ground uh, continues in this uh, particular location as well. And you can see the uh, machinery here for the uh, spray cement on the roof. And we have a good view of the cement and insulation a little bit later. But I want to position the drone a little bit farther to the north and continue up to show you some of the activity that is going on with uh, some of this excavation work. Now the interesting thing here is unlike previously where the dirt was being excavated and moved over to the east side, today there's an excavation going on right here as you can see. It's loading up the trucks and then they're transporting it to this north location near one of the ponds. And uh, from what I can see right now, it looks like they may actually be in the process of filling in part of this pond. The work that's going on here with the dump trucks uh, putting the dirt into the pond itself and you can see the bulldozer moving the dirt over as well is very re reminiscent of what we saw at the main foundation about a year and a half ago when they were removing the ponds as well. So here's a good view and I'll bring the drone down just a little bit lower so you can kind of see the activity that is going on but clearly it looks like they are uh, filling this at least this portion of the pond up with dirt and moving the dirt with the bulldozer. So another thing to keep uh, in uh, watch as time goes on to see what they do. So let's bring the drone back uh, here where you can see that excavation work continuing and that dirt is going up to the pond. And let's see how the rest of the battery cathode looks today. The north end, uh, not a whole lot of changes at this point in time with the exception of the mounts that have been welded on the exterior columns for the exterior wall panels. We can see some more of the materials on this section of the yard area, if you will. We can see work on the roof and we'll come back for that in a little bit more. And we see more of the work here on the electrical and plumbing manifold section, possibly where a tank farm is going to be located. And also you can see some more work on the large pipes underneath the main structure. As we continue more towards the south, you can see the work on the second and third floors, the work on the ground floor here where that slab is going to be, the temporary platform that we saw being erected on the previous video, and just overall quite a bit of activity on this end of the structure. So let's come up to the roof and I'll show you the progress that's going on here. Uh, the sections that you see, uh, the lighter color is the previously poured or sprayed concrete that is dried. The darker color is recent and it's still in the process of drying. And this is a very good view showing how the insulation panels are put onto the steel roof and then the uh, spray concrete is sprayed on top of that to give the final appearance. Quite a bit more of the insulation materials are stored here in these white wrapped packages and uh, this section here should begin work uh, this weekend or early next week. So let's proceed over to the electrical substation uh, construction site where we see again more work going on as well. Crews are busy basically bifurcating the main construction site into what looks like two main sections divided by potentially a access road. You can see that right in the middle of the screen. I would imagine that the left hand side will be a, almost a mirror of what the right hand side will appear like. 
and uh, there'll be a lot of electronic components, the circuit breakers, um, and the structure on both of those sections. We're passing over that water detention pond, still with some water from the recent rains, and you can see the work on the stormwater pipe uh, installation and trenching. But I wanted to come back and show you these very large rebar um, pipes, if you will. Uh, I've had a lot of comments on my viewers from my previous video, and they suggest that uh, what we may be seeing here uh, um, is mounts for some large power poles. And the right in the middle of the screen, you can see what looks like to be a very large drill, and it would drill the, uh, the hole for these rebar sections to go into. And what these very large mounts are likely for is for large power poles, just like the one that you see in the middle of the screen here. And we may see uh, three or four more added, and it will be part of the main electrical substation installation. This is a closer view of the trenching and the stormwater pipe installation on the north end and a quick view of the construction site from the north heading to the south and as it appears today. Let's go ahead and fly further to the south and see how the east parking lot is uh, coming along also. You can see all the stormwater pipe passing underneath the drone. That'll be part of the electrical substation water management system. Um, as we continue this direction, you can see quite a few, few trucks lining up to be marshaled into either the Warehouse on Wheels yard, uh, which would be bringing production equipment, or you can see others bringing in materials probably for construction. This parking area transport looks like they're using it for temporarily for the uh, trailers, so that may suggest that it uh, will be a little bit longer until we see operations begin at this site for new car parking and transportation. This is a good view of the uh, helicopter pad. You can see they're starting to arrange uh, concrete barriers around the perimeter. And I'm going to give you a view into the east entrance location. It looks like crews continue to work on the lower doors, but the, there's no longer body and white uh, vehicles parked here uh, for temporary storage. So that is a, a change that we noted in the previous video. And again, it just looks like they're finishing up work to make those doors operational. As we move more towards the north, we'll take a look at how the castings are being uh, arranged and the production rate uh, continues had some viewers ask why are these put out here? Are these for shipping? Are these um, bad uh, castings? The answer is no. This is how all of the gigafactories are storing castings now. All of these are production worthy and they're being used to make the model wise. So uh, this is something we see at Fremont, Giga Berlin, and uh, uh, should be at all the other uh, gigafactories as time goes on. As we continue to move the drone to the solar expansion, I'll just show you how the uh, gap between the T and the E is nearly bridged now. And there's this one section with all of these chimneys and exhaust ducts that have all of the mounts. And we see another extension on the left-hand side as well. Again, the gap between the E and the T is quickly coming to an end. And there's some more work on the lower portion of the E that needs to continue as well. I'm going to position the drone here to show you the progress on this cargo apron. It finished up with the concrete. It's already been cross-cut. And again, we should see those uh, cargo bays, potentially those temporary panels, removed. So I'm going to maneuver the drone up to the north, give you an idea of how the northwest uh, corner appears this morning. And I'm going to, partially because of the sun angle, and partially because it's been a while since I've shown you the landscaping on the north, as we'll come up here, I'll do a 360 degree turn, and this gives you an idea how this uh, raised location with all the landscaping appears, and on the north side, how the cyber berm looks as well. Um, I wasn't able to see this uh, at the nighttime because of my location, but it looks like they still do not have the lights for the cyber berm installed yet. But uh, hopefully we'll see that pretty soon. All of the connections are there. So I'm going to maneuver the drone more towards the northeast quickly to show you the progress with this electrical conduit 
section. We also see more gravel and dirt being uh, applied here. So it, uh, it's either a temporary storage staging yard for the electrical substation or uh, future work here. But we can see that uh, work continues on that conduit. We'll continue back towards the casting machine structure. Uh, just show you a different angle of all of the castings. Many people have asked why, what was the Amazon truck doing here. Well, it's been gone for several days, so it's probably just uh, materials that they've ordered, and that's one of the suppliers that they've used. As I maneuver the drone back to the north, we'll pan to the west. You can see how the, op the action is going on near the paint shop platforms today. Looks like more materials are being lifted up onto the uh, platform on the left. Other materials remaining on the ground uh, waiting for their sequence to be lifted up into one of these two platforms as part of the modular painting system and racks, the white racks that are used for some of the equipment as well. These two doors are part of the plastics manufacturing section and then these are the two platforms for the 4680 battery cell production location of the factory. So that wraps up the flight today. I hope you enjoyed the early morning looks inside General Assembly, the progress that's going on both inside and outside there, where all the steel is coming from, and a little bit of the speculation that I have on what's going on on the East Yard location. I hope you have a great weekend, and again, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it.